my patio is excellent. Well, good morning, road trip fans. Welcome to day two of the 2020 2500 2500 road trip. As you can see, we are loading up this morning. We are starting our journey in the beautiful area of Bay City, Michigan. Uh, and yes, that is a swamp in the backyard of our hotel. Stayed in an Okada Lodge last night. It was worthy of sleeping. Uh, this morning we have quite a bit of driving to do and quite a bit of interesting things to see. We're going to be leaving here in Bay City. We're going to be heading out actually to the coast. We're going to sit in the Bay City Park for just a little bit and see some beautiful lake views. And then we're going to head north before we head west. And uh, we're actually going to go do the Tunnel of Trees today, which ought to be really cool. And then uh, kick on up to Mackinac City uh, over the bridge, out to Mackinac Island, and then up to Whitefish Point. At least that's the plan as long as we don't run into any uh, unforeseen complications. So hopefully you guys are interested in watching another uh, interesting trip with a whole bunch of cheap cars. And uh, we're going to try to entertain you as much as we possibly can. And hopefully we don't break down at all today. So far, so good. Keep watching. Sounds great, Timmy. Of course I want it. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, you get away, man. What the hell is that, like a damn football? Like, what? Can you go out of the car? Bro, it's still in my car, but I think it got like cheese all over my glasses. <laughs> like, what the heck? I'm like two feet, bro, just like. Like he, oh my God, bro. <laughs> I got cheese all over my back seats, my door panel. Oh my God, bro. More importantly, how's the sandwich? I do, look at that. Extra cheese. <laughs> bro, like seriously, this is something you gotta like, you know, like toss it. Yeah, that's like, it. You, you tried to throw it to him, bro. <laughs> if he didn't hit my face, he would have made it in your car, for sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> want to see what the sunrise looks like with the Tosca this morning? It's one of the days. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Good? Oh. Oh. Good? I mean, after he smacked me, you know? Breakfast? That was before breakfast, I want to say, yeah. I want to take it on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Here, I think. Yeah. What? It's like a kind of. Beautiful way to start the morning. Oh, my gosh. Michigan just keeps giving. Dude. It's like early October in Michigan, and it's gorgeous. Some of us packed very warm clothing. I, uh, I only know Ethan. one style when I'm driving this car. <laughs> True. And that's Miami, nice. Florida. All the time. All Miami. We can set up the timer right here. These jumps, I don't even know what that means. I like this little... Are uh, you on with... the right side? Yeah, the end. Uh, boosted Lexi. Boosted. Lexi. Phil! Austin. Ethan, Gavin. Kevin. Put that boat out there, hauling ass. Done. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a real good picture. Right? Ooh, Ooh I can see right the windmills. The I feel cold. Where's uh, the boat at? 
Oh, oh hell. Do see all those windmills over there? Yeah. 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 Do you see them hauling that blade? I bought it. Yeah. 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 I was excited. It's just, it just never blows my one. mind because you realize how big those blades are. I mean, Matt. Yeah, I'm not very good at... Uh, and Leah, look how fast they're spinning out there. I just gotta say, it is absolutely gorgeous up here. And this is barely in the northern Michigan. It's 10 o'clock in the morning up here. The first part of October. It's 60 degrees already. It is wonderfully comfortable. Absolutely gorgeous. The leaves are turning as you can see behind me. Um, shoreline is beautiful. Lake Huron in the background back there. Good quality stop. So this is Saginaw Bay, uh, Bay City, Michigan. First stop of the day. Uh, after this we're going to head west across Michigan uh, to Petoskey area and then up north through the uh, Tunnel of Trees. I can smell the money from here. Okay, All right. Let's go, let's go check Austin's oil. We don't need to check Austin's oil. As we leave, uh, one of the main takeaways from this stop was that beeves are good at felling trees. Some very large trees that have been beeved. And yes, beavers are now a verb. So, uh, so magic rock, guys. Some guy came up to us, asked about a trip. You know, it's cool talking to him. And he goes, hey, I got a present for you. Reaches in his pocket. I'm a little concerned, being from Ohio, a little concerned. He pulls out what he calls a magic rock. What is magic about this? I have no idea. So if someone can comment and from Michigan and tell me why this is a magic rock, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. So we are currently blasting across the central part of southern Michigan uh, on our way to Petoskey. It's an absolutely gorgeous spring day in October in uh, Michigan. It's 60 degrees outside, no rain, though there is supposed to be some rain today at some point in time. Um, it's an absolutely amazing fall day, and the trees are just... Stopping for a quick little uh, fuel stop and check tire pressures and fluids and such as we blast across the Let state. Let me get a towel. And uh, Tim seems to think that I may have an issue with lack of oil. Now a little bit of context to this. Last year when we finished this drive, he and Ethan drove my Volvo very, for the very, fa very last leg. And when they brought, brought it back to me, they said that the occasional light did come on on the dash that had an oil light, which is an oil pressure light. Uh, it was a little low on oil, okay? It was a little low. Um, we want the top of this, right? So it was like four quarts low. <laughs> it had about a half a quart of oil in it at the end of the trip. So they want to check it and see how we are. <laughs> All right, so she's a little low. She's a little low. Yeah, it's like right at the minimum. It's a little low. We'll put a quart in it. That'll make them happy. That's not the worst. I mean, it was it was here when we left. It's gone down a little. So you checked it when we left? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's not terrible. It's gone down a little. It's okay. Let's see here. We don't need any cam too. We'll do some 10.30. We'll do two, two, 10.30s. It's 
see if I can do this pour without pouring all over the motor. Oh, what a beautiful pour. Wind caught me a little. Go for the bartender long pour. Oh, we oh. got it. Oh, that's all right. I'm gonna be smelling that in a little bit. <laughs> Man. Right on, right on the header. That'll be good. That's good. Whatever, hey. So is the court low. No big the buffer deal. did not fit on it there. That's why you, uh, it's crooked like that. Uh, the guy who previously had this car had the exhaust work done. I re own no responsibility on that. Oh. You have a small leap or it's just... You no, the uh, wind blew. Oh, you didn't want to do anything. Anyway, yeah, yeah. right onto the head. Yeah, this is tough. That's going to smell great for the next like 30 miles. It literally went straight oh, on the header. How old is that turbo on it? Uh, 94. Wow, the factory? Yeah. Wow, it's still running, huh? Original turbo, yeah. No way, dude. Yep. New yep. injectors, I see, huh? Yeah. New injectors, new plugs, uh, new wires. And how that's many it. miles on this one? 208. Just turned over 500 miles so far on our journey and uh, ramped off of 75 towards Petoskey. And uh, we're gonna settle down there for some lunch. So we're gonna see this nice little town of Petoskey, um, see what's available on the waterfront. Apparently they've got a pretty cool little waterfront downtown. So we'll find ourselves something to eat and show you guys the little town of Petoskey. And then, and then, onto the tunnel of trees. By the way, gorgeous area up here especially in the late in the early fall the leaves are changing the trees are just stunning so much gold so much red Michigan's got it going on
Lunch was great, thank you Duffy's. Very good food. The view is excellent. Yeah, there's a lake. <laughs> so, food is done. Time to get back to the vehicles and head to Tunnel of Trees. Which should be epic. Also, we spent too long here. Uh, so it's gonna look like we're gonna skip the island. Um, but that should put us going over the bridge slightly before sundown, which should look beautiful. So, on the road again. I would have to drink out of the garden. Yeah. Asino Salmon. <laughs> okay, tunnel of trees. Uh, absolutely epic. Probably my favorite driving road I've ever just driven. Um, that was amazing. Better than Pacific Coast Highway. That was amazing. Now, one caveat to that: if you get stuck behind somebody who doesn't want to go anywhere, you will be infuriated. But if you have clean road and you're not being pushed by anybody. Oh, epic. 30 miles of absolutely epic, especially in the fall. Amazing. So, uh, time to get back to the highway, off these little side roads, and uh, get across this huge bridge ahead.
Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. We're Uppers up here, eh? Just kidding, for any of you who are watching from the Upper Peninsula. But hey, we made it to the Upper Peninsula. So very exciting. Uh, we've got a little bit of a sh yeah, six miles on 75 until we jump off on 123 and head to Whitefish Point, uh, which is way up in the northwest corner of the uh, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. So yeah, here's what the UP looks like currently. We're gonna get to Whitefish Point just around sun, a little after sundown. So we'll see. Oh yeah, by the way, haven't broken anything yet on any of the cars, and we are just shy of 600 miles. so bad, eh? Oh, and yeah. Sunset behind us. Very nice. What do you think? It's boring up here, eh? Oh, this is terrible. I don't know why anyone would come up here. Why would anybody come up here? Don't do this. This is terrible. No, but I did see a couple for sale signs, so when we get to the hotel, I'm going to take a gander what the prices are. Probably not on your phone, though. There's like no data signs. I have one bar of LTE right now, but if I go 400 feet that way... Oh, Look at oh, you. shoot! Wow. <laughs> but if we go a couple hundred feet that way, we're gonna lose it. Ethan, what do you think? Terrible up here? I, I'll give you that. Wyoming was amazing, but this is, uh, this is stunning. made it to Whitefish Point. This is where we're going to wrap up day two of our 2500-2500 road trip for 2020. We are on the shores of the lake. It is a gorgeous fall evening up here in Upper Michigan. This is about as close as we can really get to Canada without being in Canada. Pretty amazing experience. The day's drive was incredible. Um, 
the tunnel of trees was amazing and honestly a bunch of the other roads up here were just awesome great driving roads amazing time had a great time everybody's still doing really well no cars have broken down no complications no nothing it's just been a great experience hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this uh, the continued trip starts tomorrow uh, we leave Whitefish Point and we head to the west to Painted Rock and then further west to Duluth. Should be another gorgeous day of amazing driving. And uh, we're very much looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys tune in as well. As always, please do click on that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing these crazy road trips we take or uh, any of the builds we work on and the normal stuff that we actually do. Of course, always put, click on that like button as well. Uh, until then, we'll see you next time.